Kimura is one of the famed favorites of Hajime no Ippo. He won the hearts of every fan in the Mashiba fight for the Junior Featherweight Championship. If he could have trained just a bit harder, he would have won the match. So as a result, he promised to himself to give it his all this time in this boxing journey to hopefully be ranked again, and this time to win the championship. However, after the fight against Mashiba, Kimura's boxing career and his character in general went a downward spiral. He kept getting draws and losses, and subsequently lost the motivation to accomplish something in his boxing career. It has gotten so bad that he is not even facing any nationally ranked boxers anymore. Even when fighting against non-ranked boxers, he's still struggling to win and it's only thanks to Ippo's help as a coach and second that he's able to achieve anything in his career anymore. As time moves on, he has difficulties managing his weight to stay in the junior lightweight division, where he is out of breath in just a few rounds. It's not like his boxing journey started to decay instantly, it was a slow build up after his fight with Mashiba that we, as readers, realized that Kimura his boxing career is leading nowhere, and his match against Mashiba was where he peaked as a performer. After the Mashiba fight, he initially wanted to retire because he had given everything he had in his fight, and his best efforts aren't enough to win that once in a lifetime opportunity to capture the title, then he could never shine again. But as we all know, despite his best efforts, Kimura lost the fight because in the last dual exchange, he could not reach Mashiba by 3 centimeters. He felt like he would regret it for the rest of his life if he retired because he was not close to getting the championship. So he returned to boxing with the promise to rise again and this time to finally win the junior lightweight championship. However, things started out rough for him when his comeback match was won by unanimous decision where he could have lost if it were not for the homegrown advantage. Later he had this infamous fight against the Philippine junior lightweight champion Electric Battery, which was a match made just for Morikawa to have a big laugh while writing it. It ended in a draw and as a punishment Kimura had to buzz a lightning bolt into his hair, which would not be the last time that he cut off his hair because of a boxing match, we will get to that. And if you thought that having a joke match for Kimura was funny, then hold on, his next match was another comedic bout against Electric Battery, ending once again in a draw. But things started to look up when he faced another foreign boxer securing a KO win shown in just a single panel. He wanted to maintain this momentum in his next match against another foreign boxer and was close to winning it. However, due to an accidental headbutt, the match was called off and the foreign boxer won by decision midway through the match. You might be wondering why I only mention Kimura's matches and not his development outside the ring and what he wants to accomplish in his boxing career. Well, the answer is that Kimura never had a character arc or any kind of development after the match with Mashiba. The characters with the main focus of the story at the time were Ippo, Takamura and Itadaki, who further advanced their boxing legacies and their own character arcs. Meanwhile, characters like Aoki and Kimura were relegated to the role of comedic relief always getting the short end of the stick. They were practically just side characters with no apparent use. But it all changed when the Kamugawa boys entered the A-Class tournament, aiming to win the competition and challenge the champion in their respective division. Itagaki defeated opponents that Ippo faced during his career such as Karasawa and Saeki, ultimately showcasing his unlimited potential by winning the tournament. Now as for Kimura... Oh man, Kimura. In his first round of the tournament, he won via decision, again only receiving one panel to celebrate his victory. In the second round of the tournament, despite his best efforts, he lost via decision. This became the turning point for both him and Aoki. Despite their decent boxing careers, failing to win this tournament left them competing retirement. They faced a choice, retire or continue boxing for one last shot at aiming for the title. Of course, they choose to continue boxing. While Aoki had a clear goal in mind to capture the lightweight championship, Kimura find himself in a worse situation. Now struggling with managing his weight and easily getting exhausted after just two rounds, his comeback match ended once again in a draw. After Ippo became a second for the first time, his first duty was to assist Kimura in his boxing match against an unranked opponent. Seeing Kimura all exhausted and almost finished, Ippo gave him the basic advice to only extend his arm when his opponent was getting closer. Kimura at this point was out of energy and believed that he would lose the fight. He only extended the sum out of respect for Ippo to at least do what he was told to. And just like that, his opponent ran into his fist and got his knockout KO win since forever. At this point, I believe that this is finally it. Perhaps this is the last trump card Kimura needed to win his matches. With Ippo in his corner, he can get valuable data to break down his opponents easily. But there was a huge handicap for Kimura. His weight management became unsustainable and he could no longer endure it. When he confronted to go up a weight class, he refuses because he doesn't 
not want to get in the way of Aoki and his own goal to defeating Iga by moving up the lightweight division. So when it was about time for the next match against another unranked boxer, Ippo assisted him in his weight management and trained him non-stop, to the point where Kimura was passing out from hunger and exhaustion. They both even went so far as to cutting down their own hair clean, everywhere, and I do mean everywhere, so Kimura can stay at junior lightweight. In this fight, Ippo's strategy was to end the match in one round so Kimura does not get overexhausted during the later rounds. Their plan was to spam Kimura's dragon fish blow in a similar fashion to the Dempsey roll. Their strategy almost worked and their opponent almost went down, however he was saved by the bell and Kimura was as dry as a dead body. By some ancient voodoo magic, Ippo was able to revive Kimura. Ippo gave him the advice that he needs to only hit him one more time and he would win. Kimura on the other hand had barely any motivation or stamina to keep going and had an inner crisis. He believed that he was worth nothing ever since the Mashiba fight and his promise meant nothing anymore. He saw himself as pathetic for having a washed up boxing career, while his friends achieved their own goals and desires with their own will and determination. He gave everything he had left into this one last attack, which turned out to be a reverse dragon fish blow. He first feints, aiming for the head and then lands a body shot. Kimura ultimately won the fight, but then he remembered that this fight means nothing, since it's unranked and Kimura only won because he had Ippo for a second. After this match, Kimura could no longer grow his hair in a healthy way due to his unhealthy diet and lack of nutrition, so you know that Kumorikawa will find ways to make fun of it. And that's been the theme of Kimura's entire character ever since the Mashiba fight. His matches only consist of joke matches, decision wins that are usually shown in one panel or losses. And when his fights are given more attention in the narrative, the focus of the fight is not on him but on the other characters like Ippo as a second or Aoki for his own character development. This just makes me really sad just seeing Kimura like this. His fight with Mashiba is easily in the top 10 fights of Hajime no Ippo, and the scene where he cried after losing for coming short because of 3 centimeters remains one of the most emotional scenes of the whole series. I initially wanted to go deeper into what led to Kimura's downfall as a boxer in this video, but this man was never given any real character development throughout the manga and was only used for gag chapters or developing other characters. And this is still true till this day, since his latest fight ended in a draw again, only given one panel of screen time. And then later on trolled Itadaki on Twitter to get some attention in his boxing career, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. What Kimura really lacks is a fixed goal in mind to go after. Chasing the belt is not enough for his own goal to finally take the sport seriously again. Many people theorize that Kimura might make a comeback in the future when he is at his natural weight class to then challenge Iga for the championship after Aoki loses to him. But what do you think of Kimura's character evolution throughout the series? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below and if you've enjoyed this video then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Hajime no Ippo content. I'm the Reading Pro and thanks for watching.